Welcome back. Today, suspension bridges, dealing with muddy traction, sand hoppers, and heading to Canada as a groomsman now on John's Northwest Adventures. The wedding couple to be is Nader and Andrea. After a delay of two years from COVID, the day had finally come to be married. And this is Finley, young child, with an obsession for puddles. All eight of us groomsmen were stuffed above this barn here. I'm not a particular fan of these K-Cup coffee brewers, but this thing did make a really good cup of coffee. This ranch had been gracious to provide an incredible venue space for their wedding. I likely would have captured it myself, but you can't be a groomsman and a cameraman at the same time. After being one of the last to leave the event, it was time to go for a hike. I had decided to stay an extra day. Where we are going today is a spot known as Sombrio Beach. It is a spot along the coast of Vancouver Island. From the parking lot, it is roughly a quarter mile hike to get to the beach space. For the entire beach and back, it is about two miles. Time constraints had my options limited on how far I could walk this beach on this day. I do intend on returning for another episode. There is an east side and a west side of the beach. We will be checking out the west side first. find uniquely more awesome with Canadian trails versus American trails? Their suspension bridges. Nearly every single hike or trail that I've trekked in Canada has always employed some form of suspension bridge, and I love it. They are simply effective and very entertaining to walk on. is going under a restoration phase. When you're going up and around this alternate route, be sure to have a good pair of boots. It's really mucky and slippery. example how you don't necessarily have a sandy beach. Sombrio Beach is part of the Juan de 
Fuca Trail, which extends for over 25 miles. Oh, that's right, we're in Canada. I should mention, over 40 kilometers. There's a lot of moisture retention in this region, so they build platforms for camp setup. I've never seen restroom facilities like this before. I was trying to figure out if those were compost sections. Gross. That's if that were true. Or is this a method to just clean out more easily when people throw garbage in there? Here are your food caches if you're doing the straight one Fuca trail. I'll be sleeping in my vehicle tonight. The ferry that I'll be departing on leaves in the afternoon.
to my surprise, Roger, the groom's dad, had appeared on the ferry boat, as well as a couple other people that had showed up at the wedding. This dog here is Allie. Always feels good to head home with company. Victoria is always a good place to come to, and I'll be eager to make a return. Maybe permanently someday. I've always wanted to move to Canada if it was possible. The rocky terrain and the tree growth always bring me back. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with the latest adventures I go on, be sure to click subscribe.